Hello guys and welcome back. I've got to get a move on. A week from today I'm taking the day off work and I'm going north to Tacoma, Washington to a frame straighteners. And uh, so I need to get this bike stripped down by next week. And I've just got caught up with other projects like this and the ride video that you would have seen. And so um, here we go. I'm going to try and strip this down fairly quickly and get the frame ready to take up to the straighteners. I wasn't sure how tight these exhaust nuts would be. So I've had them soaking for quite a few weeks actually in a, a penetrating oil solution that I made up. Thank you, George. It's a 50% ATF, automatic transmission fluid, and 50% acetone. And so let's see how that goes. And uh, he also loaned me his C spanner. So I'm grateful for that as well. And let's see if these are going to come off. That's a good start. It's pretty tight but it's coming. Terrific. This inlet rocker cover cap is a trademark sign of a Manxman. Right, it's just in the way of the carburetor, so I'm going to take that off first of all and then remove the carburetors. Come on. The whole stud came out. Oh, that saves me a job. All these carburetor nuts and bolts are loose. And you can tell it, someone's had them off at some point because these cables are quite new actually, but uh, they don't fit. And both carburetors are actually loose, so makes it nice and easy. It's a little crusty and dirty down here. Great, so that's cleared it out a lot. I think all we've got now is about three or four. One, two, three, four, well, three, four, maybe five nuts and bolts to remove in order to try and attempt to remove the engine from the frame.
Sorry guys, I just looked back at that clip of me removing the engine and I realised that my back was in the way for most of it. So uh, it was it was not that bad. It was just a little bit uh, fiddly to kind of jiggle the engine out of the frame, but uh, it worked just fine. And obviously when I put the engine back into a very nicely painted frame, um, I'll be taking it easy and, and tackling it in a much different way. Just scraped off all the old oil and dirt from the bottom of this frame so it's a little cleaner for when he works with it and tries to straighten his front neck. Okay great that's the engine and the gearbox out and pretty much everything else. Now I'm going to move on to the front end and we can also start to see now a little bit more clearly where the front uh, frame has been bent and you see how close the tyre is, the wheel is here to this down tube as well. And you can distinctly see the bend here as well. The other thing is the forks may also be bent as well. And um, the guy at the, the frame straighteners has very kindly offered to look at the front forks as well. And so, uh, but I'm going to take them off as well. I'm going to take the rear swing arm off as well. So this will be the next job, just to remove the front end from the bike. This nut is stuck. Oh yeah. It's pretty badly corroded in there. What does this one look like? Mmm. Well that's unusual. Look at that. I don't recognise this at all. Well, I'm sure that hammering didn't help with this, but um, I can definitely feel the wear. 
feel that you see that it's notched so this has obviously been damaged or over tightened at some point in the races I'm replacing all of this anyway Well that's it, that's the frame completely stripped and uh, so that's the Manxman frame on the left hand side and one I prepared earlier on the right hand side that's the Shep frame and uh, that's a project for another day, perhaps another year and so um, I just thought you might like to see what the necks look like as I compare them side by side. As you can see here, as I take that away you can see not only is it bent here but here as well, uh, as it's had some kind of impact at the front. So here and here, and this is straight all the way from here to here. Well, as always, thanks very much for watching, guys, and hopefully the next video will be of the frame as it comes back from the frame straighteners. Thanks a lot. See ya.